Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, there is a major uh, update, the ma major development over in the Ukraine war right now. Uh, the Russian forces have actually launched a surprise attack in the direction of Toresk or Pivnishny. The Russian forces attacked from the town of Mayos in this direction to Pivnishny and uh, there is another attack coming from the uh, west of Zaiseve. And uh, these are very surprising uh, moves because uh, Based on my own uh, assessment, I don't think this is a very good place to fight and a very non-essential. Ukrainians have very strong defenses around here. Let me draw in the, another color. Uh, this, the New York front basically is a very, very heavily entrenched uh, front line. However, it is also a very weak front line uh, in the sense that uh, there is only two roads leading to this area. So there's one road leading through Toresk and uh, there's another road going south of this uh, highway, south of Konstantinivka, and then going in through this highway. There's probably, an, there's another road going through to uh, Torex here, and another, this is a railway, I think this is a railway. Yeah, it's a railway. So probably there's some roads around there. So it's, there's only this few roads. Essentially, there's only two roads. So, so the, if the Russians are able to take out you no know, either of these roads, they are able to penetrate through, no, in this way, cutting these two roads will basically essentially create a, 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 a basically an operational encirclement. If you look at this terrain, you can see the situation also. Uh, there is a river system uh, coming through here. There's a river system coming through here. So there is a road. So uh, let me draw. There's this road. You can see this. These are the few roads coming into Toresk. And then there's a, this highway going down and entering through New York. And that's it. This is the entire front line. So, which is why I always do not take New York very seriously. I don't believe the fighting in this area is meaningful. Ukrainian forces have very strong defenses uh, around here. Very, very strong defenses around here. And it's just going to be a hard push. But suddenly we are seeing this Russian push in this direction. Um, I have my doubts you know, is if this is actually something serious. Yes, there is there is ground being taken uh, in this area, but strategically speaking, it makes no sense to go into urban warfare, which is where the Russians cannot make the full advantage of you no know, their superior in material in terms of artillery system, the type of artillery system that they have, the air superiority, air supremacy, helicopters. So it's it's not the best place you no know, urban warfare you no know, squad close quarter fighting is just not playing to the advantage of the russians so um i don't believe this is the way to go i have done this analysis long time ago that the the, the sensible place to do attack through is the russians attack in the direction of the Lievka and uh and then hitting into the rear position through Bilohora or alessandro Shutine and basically cut off the road uh, from this position and uh, this with this torax itself will, will just be nearly operationally encircled and uh, with another attack coming through the, from the other direction cutting the road basically New York front will collapse so the and we are already seeing this development coming from a uh, charity direction going northward uh, this is already currently happening so and if the the Russian forces attack around Zoria or through Zoria or into the rear position of Zoria, they would create this uh, uh, cutting of the road uh, towards the New York region and that will already hamper the Ukrainian forces in the New York front. And uh, so so this pincer would make a lot more sense than actually going through it. This is the same analysis that I have put out and uh, proposed to you guys that the Russian forces have no reason to attack through Chasif here. This is just way too heavily defended and the terrain is just horrible to fight in. And uh, there's no reason to do that when the Russians can just you know, go up north, swing up, collapse the entire Sivas front in a pincer. So, and uh, to collapse Slovians and Kromatos, they, will just, they just need to go for Pokrov and going all the way up and cut off all the major roads. You, you can just capture the major cities without you no know, uh destroying the city with which is the similar situation with uh 
uh, Lisi Shans and Silvero Donets. Lisi Shans particularly uh, have very little destruction. Silvero Donets a bit more, but generally speaking, these two cities is very much spared from uh, heavy fighting. Uh, instead, Rubizne uh, was actually way more destroyed uh, than, let's say, Silvero Donets or Lisi Shans. So the Generally speaking, no, I don't think this offensive is going to be very serious, although it looks very serious. And uh, potentially, we can see that the Russians may go for the canal. So they may go for this front line to control this entire canal region and cr maybe create a new defensive position around, around here. So that, was, that would be a possibility. So otherwise, I don't see any clear advantage into you know, why... No, why they want to enter into the urban region it just doesn't make too much sense for me so anyway uh having a good defensive position around here there is a heavy trench line around here maybe so they have captured this trench line so no maybe this is a new area to pin down ukrainian forces because the ukrainians will be very uh surprised and they may actually have to react to this and they will just end up you know, getting stuck here just like in the khaki front just like in the Chastifia region no this is probably just yet another place where the russians want to stretch the ukrainians i don't think the russians are interested to really push in so anyway this is my analysis of the new offensive direction in the mayors so towards pifnishne torex direction so thank you for watching do press the like button and um yeah subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next update